Taurus, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from July 24th to the 30th. So whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you. So that's why it's also called a timeless reading. Anywhere that you have Taurus in your chart, this is your reading. So happy to be here with you, Taurus, at this time. I hope that you're all doing well. So I just want to say that at this time, I'm not giving out personal readings. So um, just... You know, if, if you see anybody here underneath the channel, that's not like my, I'm verified here on Instagram now and Facebook. And so uh, it's important to understand that if someone comes to you in a DM uh, wanting to uh, give you a reading or a message and a donation, it's not me. So it's very important that you, um, you know, that you report them before you block them. Because if you block them, you're not really uh, helping the situation. They have, you need to report them first so we could take down their pages, okay? So always report them, okay, and block them, okay, afterwards. And uh, underneath the, the channel here, if I write to you, my name is highlighted in white. If someone comes under Patrice 1111 and they're not highlighted in white, they are a scammer. So just report and block them, all right? So if you are looking for a healer and you're also looking for a channeler like me and a reader to do uh, cards, uh, underneath the uh, video, um, the, uh, the description box, uh, there's you can reach Mark you know, on his email. You can check his website too. It's there if you resonate with him. He's been with me for four years now and I never, I really had, I've been having very good reviews about him and he's like a month in advance booked, okay? So just uh, putting it out there for everybody. Uh, okay, we've got two cards here. So Taurus, I thank you for all your love and support. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to take out some Oracle cards to start off the reading with because, uh, you know, additional messages is always good to have. Okay, so this one belongs here. Last but not least, this one for Taurus. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the messages together. I'm just going to take my reading glasses because I won't be able to <laughs> see the cards. So you have the Fire Prince, number 40, Optimism and Aggression, the Fire Prince. All right. If there's people at this time that are triggering you, please stay in your optimism or in your compassion at this time. It's very important. You also got Caution. Okay, you got the spider. Maybe some of you, your animal totem is a spider bubble. You're going to see a spider. If that is, that will be a, uh, that will be a confirmation of this reading. It says, keep your guard up. Taurus, keep your guard up. Okay. You also got narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Tread thoughtfully. And in the Starseed Oracle, you got loosen your grip. Okay, coping mechanics. Mechanisms, mechanisms, density, action, addic addiction, and let God in. And you also got era eth, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Okay, so we'll put this here next to this. All right, let's start your reading. We're going to look at the recent past. We're going to look at the current energy, the immediate future. We're going to look at the outcome. Then I will clarify the cards and then I will give you advice. Three more shuffles. <clears throat> And 
let's get started with your reading. Sandy, here. You want to come here? Here. Here you go. I think. All right. You got, in the recent past, you got the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Two of Swords. In the current energy, you got the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. In the near future, you got the Magician. Judgment is, is what you're not seeing in the near future. And the Four of Wands. In the outcome, you got the Ace of Wands. In the overall, you got the Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay. In the overall, you got the Ten of Cups. So there's like there's definitely happiness here within you, or in the family, or there could be a new beginning in uh, with this Ten of Cups. It could be a soulmate, any you know, it could be anybody here. But there's definitely contentment, happiness, gratitude. That's all in this. Okay. In the recent past here, a lot of you uh, were in your head about something. Um, I feel that like you had to work on yourself, and you did in terms of uh, the healings that you had to go through. This is, could be from your children to anybody from your past here. Okay, something of the past here where you know you felt maybe left out abandoned or there's there's ten, uh, of trauma i also feel for some of you and you've been in your head about it or it's not that you were sitting on it for a while you know and it's, it was important to open your heart to it and i do feel that you did do this with the nine of pentacles you put a lot of work into yourself here in the current energy i see that you've been you're, you're now if there's a I, I feel like you're trying to bring something into balance in your life or maybe you're juggling a lot at the same time and it's causing a lot of I feel it's causing some type of conflict within you in this situation. There could be drama around you or competition around you, whatever it is that you're trying to bring into balance here. I'm not sure if this will be for everybody, but there's someone here that's not really looking at it and is turning their back on it and working on something else. Or it could also mean that you are putting energy into something here, trying to release this five of wands in energy because this is touching everything. It's right in the middle of your reading. In the near future, I see you here manifesting. There is a judgment that has to come through, okay? A spiritual awakening and just a, it could also be revelations, okay? Or epiphanies, but definitely here, there is a judgment that has to take place here. And uh, whatever you've been manifesting is solid. You want something, maybe a solid community or in your home. Uh, it could be celebrations in your home, uh, whatever it is. It could be work, home, whatever the case is, okay? And in the outcome, you have the Ace of Wands. So there is a new beginning taking place here for you. That's going to bring you this Ten of Cups. This is about passion for love for life okay it can be something creative you're working on it could be also chemistry with someone here right whatever the case is it's here for you okay so now we're going to clarify the cards Let's look at the Ten of Cups in the overall for Taurus. These cards want to come out. Four of Wands came out twice, number 44, number 22. You have two, 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 two of Swords. So something you've been sitting on the fence of, okay, when it comes to your terms of happiness, stability, what you want here, here you come in. <laughs> Taurus, you come into your own chart. Ten of Pentacles. You, you know, been uh, reviewing. It's almost a sense like you've been reviewing, okay? Or there's a decision that you have to make in terms of what's going to make you happy. What brings you that stability? What do you want here, okay? You want something. Like you're questioning, like, where, what am I going to be in five years from now, three years from here, or down the line here? There is, like, there's definitely here an energy of where I feel that there's two paths that you have to choose from, okay? And you've been sitting on it for a while, and there is a decision you have to make. But the decision is within you. It's not on the outside of you, 
okay because you have to choose the higher road here and in, in energy and yeah this could be anything could be terms of marriage could be terms of do you want marriage do you want like maybe you're questioning a lot at this time it doesn't have to be marriage anything it could be something long term it could be the the work that you do as well you've been sitting on the fence about it whatever it is there's something here that you have to make a decision about okay oops make a decision about let's look at the six of cups in the recent past why is the six of cups here for taurus nine of cups nine of wands and the wheel of fortune yeah so in the recent past here you know there is a wish fulfillment that you truly desired here okay yes and maybe you're feeling nostalgic about people or situations of the past there could have been soulmate energy here and uh, i feel that uh, the universe kept bringing you people or situations but you were being tested okay so you were being tested and you persevered and you chose your battles wisely but at the same time i also feel that you some of you blocked that energy from coming through with the wheel forging meaning that you did not seize the moment in that okay because you were being tested and i feel that you knew this deep inside let's look at the nine of pentacles ace of wands ten of wands page of pentacles yeah so from the nine you went to the ten here in the wands energy so definitely there was obstacles in terms of you know offers coming in okay or uh, the challenge here is in the recent past here was that again the ace of wands shows up twice here for you okay over here and over here so there was a new beginning here and the 10 becomes a one so whatever to take place here whatever if you've been alone or if you've been taking care of yourself and you've been nurturing yourself and putting a lot of value into who you are as a person you're very independent you could also take a day off because there is an offer coming in okay definitely there is an offer coming in here okay or there was okay or there is <laughs> i'm saying it's in the recent past it could be like as 10 weeks ago or 10 months ago whatever the case is okay it could be also in the energy of now is that there's a completion that's taking place you're laying your 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 wands down okay this has been a long journey where it's been difficult because you've been tested from the universe you were tested yeah and there's definitely an offer coming in okay definitely it's the beginning stages of an offer here and there is passion in the air in, in terms of your creativity in terms of your pentacles in terms of love whatever the case is there could be some also some type of collaboration okay but i do see a strong foundation here in the situation and teamwork like people working together right so there's something new let's look at the two of swords that shows up for you Three of Wands, King of Wands, Tower. What's the Tower bringing in? The Knight of Swords. What is this about? Okay, hold on. What's this Knight of Swords with the Tower? So there is some type of... There was a Tower that took place here. Okay. Or there will be. Let's see. What is this Tower in the Knight of Swords? Because there is some type of communication. The Lovers. All right. There's passion here between two people. Definitely, there was passion here. Okay, and someone was yearning or waiting. There could have been something like that taking place. Someone here was really in their mind about something. And uh, there was some type of someone trying to take action. Okay, but uh, the, like again, there was a strong, not strong, sorry. There was a strong bond here between two people. I don't know who this is. It could be anybody, but there was definitely, definitely a strong bond here okay and someone was waiting for the manifestation or waiting for this to come in right and there's a choice to be made there was a choice to be made here okay i don't know what choice was done but there was a choice to be made let's look at the current energy in the current energy you got the two of pentacles i feel like you're probably being pulled in two different directions the queen of swords justice and the two of wands in the current energy too i see this okay so a lot of you are in this queen of swords energy doesn't have to be or you're dealing with someone that's a libra it don't have to be whatever the case is here uh, when the notes change things are gonna just things are changing you're very you're thinking very logically about the next step here and um you know maybe you've been putting out there your manifestations and you know you have two paths to choose from uh, th it doesn't really matter about the destination okay but the journey and the experience that you have to go through because there's there is something coming into balance here and there's fairness all right and it's uh, it's uh, it, and some of you are thinking looking at it logically 
There's a lot of logic in this. As I do feel that there's a new beginning and some of you have been waiting for this new beginning. And I do see stability and I also see someone that's been nurturing themselves. So let's look at the five of wands here. That's smack right in the middle of your reading. Now, what is the conflict? Is the conflict within you, within uh, the situation, or is there drama around this? Let's see what this is all about. King of Cups, Page of Wands, Judgment. The conflict is within you. Okay? You're feeling stuck. You're overthinking. That's all it is. You're overthinking about it. Um, yeah, it's. It, it, I do feel, I do f feel, okay, Taurus, that you've healed. Okay? Now, it's important to understand this, okay? Because I don't want, uh, in the spiritual community, you could get mixed up. So you could go through your healing experience all you want, right? But are you open to be vulnerable? That's when, that's when you know if you really healed, is if you're able to be vulnerable with another person. Open your heart completely. Now, this will not pertain to all of you, right? Because I do feel here is that um, it's about opening your heart. The vulnerability has to be there. And the conflict is within you in this situation, okay? Because there is a judgment. This is a spiritual awakening. There's the King of Cups and energy. Someone that is probably reserved. Um, they're emotionally available. And it's coming in divine timing, right? And there's positive messages around this. So the reason why maybe that there's conflict is because, is because someone's overthinking it. You know, it could be someone here is still feeling... Uh, some type of sorrow or, or something. Okay, so let's look at this Eight of Pentacles here. Now, are you guys going to... I don't know if you're going to turn your back to this situation. I don't know. Yeah, the Hermit. You're going to take time out. The world. Okay, beautiful. And what else here? And the Queen of Cups shows up. So you got the King and Queen of Cups. Um, yeah, so some of you are going to be turning your back. For a bit going within which is okay right you're gonna reflect on it right you're gonna reflect you're gonna you're putting energy into yourself or into a situation here into what you're doing here you're following your own stars so there will be a lot of reflection that you're gonna go through uh there is someone there's definitely love here or some form of two people being open to each other okay and the world card comes in so you're going to the next level in the current energy maybe it's going to be subtle for some of you for others of you you're going to feel the shift okay but whatever the case is you're going to the next level so congratulations there could be travel indicated as well or someone traveling to you i see that you're going through a transition i know you've been worried about something and you've been in pain and there's been a lot of pain uh, in, in anguish and anxiety and fear that you had to go through maybe there could be someone here feeling that they're feeling less of or lacking something here Abandonment is a very is very strong in your reading. Some some sort of abandonment. Maybe it's a something that's going to come up to trigger you. Okay, and trust. Are you going to trust? Okay, because there's a wish that's going to be granted here for you. So let's look at the immediate future with the magician. Why is the magician here for Taurus? The Nine of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The four swords. So while you're taking time out to heal, while you've been isolating and while you're hermiting or whatever the case is, there's messages that are going to come in because you've been manifesting and there is someone coming in. That's very fiery. The fire prince, you see, he showed up here for you. There he is. Okay. There's an offer and it could be a tangible offer. Patience is needed with this. Okay. Uh, but there's a beautiful healing that's taking place with this situation and that could lead to your... Um, lead to your happiness and you know what if it's a happiness within you or around you or a person because i do see that you've been making progress here let's take another uh card for the knight of wands here for you just another card what's this all about magician page of cups the empress yeah there's definitely messages coming in okay this could be about a child for some of you it doesn't have to be uh, but definitely messages coming in. There's possibilities here for you. And it's about new opportunities and something creative that you've been working on. I do see success and victory. Jupiter is coming in to help you also on the financial front. But I also see someone coming in with love as well. But of course, <clears throat> you both manifested this. Okay. So let's look at the judgment.
Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, King of Swords. You see everything very clearly. You see everything very clearly. Clearly. If you are this King of Swords, because I see the King and Queen of Swords, I see the King and Queen of Cups, and I see the King and Queen of Wands. No, I saw her before. She was in the cards, but she's not on the floor, but still. Um... judgment is whatever this is is that whatever you're feeling if there would I, I i feel almost like you feel like there's always a third party situation around a, situ a person like it doesn't have to be a person but it could be people places work whatever it is here and um you know uh, i do see like uh socializing networking i see reunions but some of you are feeling stuck you're feeling stuck as you're overthinking about this okay you're overthinking because what's coming in, I wanted to, I asked, why are these cards here, right? Is this how you're feeling? Is this how you're embodying the situation that's coming around? Do you, because you did complete a cycle in the current energy, right? So with temperance, the ace of pentacles and the 10 of cups here, there's a beautiful healing that's taking place and something's coming in, a gift, something tangible is coming in here for you. And it's, there's really like, I, I see a spiritual connection here that's really beautiful and someone is taking their time but they have their eye on you they usually get what they want okay someone here that's observing the situation maybe you're observing but whatever the case is there is a soulmate energy here and there's healing that's taking place patience is the key all right instead to, it's important not to jump to conclusions let's look at the four wands why is the four of wands here three of pentacles queen of wands she showed up the six of wands yeah you will have a breakthrough epiphany or some type of understanding that's going to come in okay there's definitely uh, a lot of passion here there's a lot of passion yeah it's a new beginning that's a hundred percent here there's a new beginning and you, you you put a lot of work in your confidence here in who you are maybe some of you are very not some, but I mean, you're very magnetic, right? You're beautiful, handsome, whatever the case is. I see in a community, in work, in a home, I see a strong foundation, collaboration. I see happiness, success, and victory being recognized. And there's a reward here that's, com that's coming in for you. Okay. Um, let's look at the Ace of Wands in the immediate future. Uh, in the future, not in the near future, in the future. The Devil, King of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords. I feel that you're defensive around the situation in your life. You could be dealing with uh, something that someone here, there's patterns. There could be patterns in a situation here. Okay, uh, patterns. You feel like some of you are feeling that you're, some of you are feeling. Let's say you went through a situation. I don't know. I don't know. I even know how to explain this. Uh, do I have anything to explain this with? Uh, hold on. Okay, I could only think about like this example. You met someone, and uh, you know, there's they, they were toxic for you or whatever. And some of you had, you know, you get to go through a lot of tests here, and you know, you didn't accept whatever. Uh, I believe that this I believe that these are patterns okay because I feel that again let, okay you are releasing these patterns some of you are being very defensive around this okay very defensive there's a def like you're standing up for yourself I feel that you are you uh, you, you will uh, release what is no longer I, I, I see you going towards stability prosperity and I do see someone here that's coming in to bring, that, that could bring you something long term, whether it's finance or job or work or your passion or love as well. OK, you, you're going to overcome this. You're, you, a lot of you are walking away from people or situations that no longer serve you. Saturn is also going to help you on uh, your finances here. OK, 
and I do see that you are going to go through a huge transformation here, right? A huge transformation as the nodes change from Taurus to Scorpio to Aries to Libra. A huge transformation is going to come in. Mm -hmm. And I see you taking your power back here, Taurus. You're taking your power back. You're taking action. It's a very positive card. I do see movement. I see traveling by car. Also train, plane, whatever you want to call it here. And you're ready for it. You're taking action. You are being divinely guided. And I know that you feel that. So you are going towards uh, something here. And uh, there's a lot of stability around. You're releasing what no longer serves you. And sometimes patterns could come back up again, right? The conflict within you. If there's a pattern or someone triggers you, just know it's a pattern and all you have to do is work on it, all right? So now I'm just going to give you the advice. So I'm going to take these cards here. Give me a second. So I want to clear the energy of the roof. And uh, let's see what the advice is for Taurus. What's the advice for Taurus in this situation? What should they do and what's the advice? What's the advice for Taurus? Five of Swords, Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. It's pentacles, Nine of Swords. I'm gonna give me a second. Be careful of the people around you. If there's a lot of uh, ego-based energy people around you, that's very important to understand. There's a lot of passion here between two people. Okay, there is a lot, there is passion here, and I do see something coming into balance. And yes, there will be clarity. It's about opening your heart because there's a lot of possibilities, and maybe these possibilities, especially for let's, let's say it's for love. Okay, let's say let's give an example of love, and you're single, right? And you've been single, and most of your testing had to do during like. Uh, uh, you know, uh, most of your testing and what your life lesson was about was about love and energy to others here, okay? So if that was the case here, okay, um, what was I going to say? Is that there's a lot of possibilities and maybe they're going to come in all at the same time and you're going to have to understand which one do you want. It, who's the person? You're going to know, of course. Sometimes it takes time for the truth to be revealed here. Okay, because I do feel that a lot of you have been working on abandonment issues, okay, and uh, trust issues. And it's very important that you continue the work because I do see you. I've been putting a lot of work. And in the month of August, well, almost even uh, Leo season here, I see that things are going to, messages are going to pick up here, okay. And there's something, a gift that's coming in, something tangible for you, okay. Anything could be money, could be a person, whatever. There's a lot of possibilities here. And you will have to choose whatever it is, if it's work, if it's love, if it's whatever it is here. But I do see two people very, uh, a magnetic attraction to each other and something is coming into balance here. And you will have a breakthrough, but it's important to open your heart. You need to be vulnerable and not have that, uh, like just that vulnerable uh, energy that has to be taking place here, okay? Um, so... I hope you enjoyed your reading, Tories. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.